What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a dope team right here. It's not off meta, but it's definitely different. We got Solgaleo with a weakness policy alongside with Shadow Rider Calyrex and last but not least, Dry Skin Heliowisk. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by smashing that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Seriously, what are you doing? Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. Shout out to everybody who's subscribed to the channel and support me as a content creator. You guys are the real ones. You guys are definitely the real ones. But let's get started here in the top left corner with the one and only Landers for the team preview. It's got Intimidate, obviously, and then the Life Orb as its item. This Pokemon really just works on any single team. It's great in Dynamax, it's great non-Dynamax, and this Intimidate by itself is just powerful, especially up against physical attackers. We got Protect, we got EQ, we got Fly, and then Rock Slide for coverage for a fairly normal moveset for any Landers. This Pokemon is super well in Dynamax, so we're probably going to be Dynamaxing a good bit. Him and Solgaleo, I feel like. Calyrex is going to be our first restricted model on the team with the As-1 ability and the Focus Sash as his item. We got Astral Barrage, Expanded Force, Protect, and Bulldoze to actually proc our Solgaleo's weakness policy. Middle left is going to be Rillaboom, and Rillaboom, just phenomenal. So good in like every single situation, absolutely counters Kyogre, does work on Regilecki. Most Regileckis cannot take a Grassy Glide in the Grassy Surge, so really, really good. So I, I like Rillaboom, I feel like he can come in in most situations and just rock out. We got the Grassy Surge ability, long stop with the Assault Vest so we can soak up some shots, and then we got Grassy Glide, knock off, take off items, high horsepower for a coverage move, and fake out for flinches. Middle right is going to be Heliowisk, and he is one of the reasons I picked this team. Having used Heliowisk in like, years for with this game and helios is a very cool pokemon and i feel like this helio with setup right here is really good at countering kyogres we got dry skin so we heal up whenever water moves hit us we got that choice scarf so we can actually outspeed pretty much everything and especially that kyogre and then we're rocking out with a phenomenal move set of electro web for speed control volt switch just to pivot out and get some damage dark pulse for a coverage move and weather ball you know in case people are rocking weather you guys know weather is so prominent in this uh, meta right now you got the kyogres you got the ground on so weather ball can really come in clutch and help us do some work Bottom left-hand corner is going to be our second restricted mod, and that is going to be Solgaleo. And Solgaleo with the weakness policy might be the best weakness policy uh, Pokemon in the game at the moment. It's got full metal body, so its stats can't be changed. And then it's rocking out with a phenomenal moveset of Protect, Sunseal Strike for Stab, Flare Blitz for Coverage, and Psychic Fangs for another stab move. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be our support mod, and that is going to be Grimmsnarl. Prankster and Light Clay, you guys know I absolutely love a good Light Clay Grimmsnarl. We got Light Screen, we got Reflect, Thunder Wave, and Spirit Break for our only hard-hitting move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, we got that rental code chilling at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this weakness policy, Solgaleo, Shadow Rider Calyrex, and Dry Skin Heliowisk team. Let's get started with today's video, hopping into our first battle, going up against a Ice Rider Calyrex with Groudon team with Incineroar, Venusaur to pair up with that Groudon Trout, and then he has Regilecki and Mimikyu to actually set a Trick Room. So, how could we go into this, and how could we counter Trick Room if... I don't even think we could counter Trick Room, could we? Could we counter Trick Room? I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out a way where we can counter Trick Room, and I think I found it out. I think I figured it out. Calyrex and Solgaleo as a lead. I'm liking that because if he's going to go in Trick Room, he's probably going to lead in Sinroar. And in that case, we'll just Dynamax and we'll double down into Mimikyu. Right? Sounds pretty good. I'm digging it. So let's lead both of those and get rocking with that. I feel like Heliowis isn't that good in the back end here. We're going to bring our Intimidate Pokemon. And last but not least, we're going to rock out with Rollboom. I'm with it all day. I am with it all day. Let's see how this one plays out. And let's see how it goes into it. But I'm kind of banking on him going into that Trick Room combo. I'm kind of banking on it. I kind of am banking on it. Because in this case, uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex can't get hit by a fake out. And then we can just Dynamax Solgaleo. We can actually proc policy alongside with taking speed control. Alongside with knocking off the disguise. We can do a lot. So let's see who he goes into. He goes into Regilecki alongside with ooh, Venusaur. We do not like that one. All right, we do not like that one. But how could I play this one? How could I play this one? I'm thinking of just uh, ripping into that Venusaur with a max flare. That does sound good. We are focused as she could maybe go for speed control, but... Really wouldn't do much. I'm just going to go for a Bulldoze here. And do that. And this Dynamax. And probably go for a Mindstorm, right? Yeah, Mindstorm is her best bet. Mindstorm is definitely her best bet. Or we can take out Regilecki. I mean, I'm kind of fine with Regilecki just being on the field at this point. Because we have full metal body, our stats will not change. So the Bulldoze will not lower speed. If he wants to go for an E-Web, that will not lower speed. But I could definitely see him going into a possible uh, swap into the Groudon slot. And then rolling out from there. Right? 
Let's see. We're going to Dynamax here. I really do think he could swap into that, but he might not. I think he's just going to go for like an E-Web and maybe try to put me to sleep. Or he could swap in the ground and then try to put me to sleep. That would be a power move. But yo, Jeans' battery slow. Give me one second, guys. Give me one second. Where's that? No, I have it. I know I have it. No, I have it. Where is it? Give me one second. I'll be right back. Yo, I keep that thing on me. I keep it on me at all times. At all times. Always plugged in for instances like this. There we go. We plugged in. Now it's all tangled up with my desk, but we're, we're plugged in and we're ready. We're plugged in and we are ready to rock. He's going to actually Dynamax the Venusaur or G Max and whatever you want to call it. And what's he going to go for here? This is my boy rocking with a Volt Switch Pivot. A Volt Switch Pivot. Okay, into that's actually a smart play. He's going to Volt Switch Pivot into Groudon. Okay, he's going to take speed. And what's he going to go for? He's going to go for a ground move. We might be going for Quake, which we can eat up a Quake. And we might just be able to dump on this Venusaur, which could be a lovely, lovely turn. And we take speed control. And we can take some nice, lovely speed control here. Vine Lash. Oh, he's going to Vine Lash into probably Calyrex, right? Calyrex, good thing. We are Sash, but we didn't even trigger Sash. He's going to take out my Calyrex after this, but we might just be able to dump on this Venusaur here, which could be lovely. Bulldoze is going to minus their speed. We'd love to see it. And Policy is proc'd. Hitting this thing with a stab move, I think we should just be able to take it out, right? We should just be able to say, hey, yo, get out of my game. You're done for. You are done for. All right, dude, the Calyrex combo, I'm, I'm digging. I'm digging the Calyrex combo. Is that thing policy? Oh, no. Oh, it's White Herb. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. We'd love to see it. I'm going to drop a Mindstorm. Hey, yo, Venusaur, get on out my game. So what a start to the battle. We make a great call here. And we get a crit, but I don't think we need a crit. We had a weakness policy proc. We were thriving out strong here. Okay, so Calyrex is going to go down to the... Uh, the Vine Lash damage, that's totally fine. But we take out his Dynamax Pokemon, and then he might bring it back out. If I had to guess, he's going to bring it back out Regilaki. I do have Rillaboom, which I might just bring out here. Rillaboom could definitely be the call. Rillaboom could definitely be the call. And we can go on the Regilaki, because we pose a huge threat onto uh, Groudon with that Rillaboom. Good old Rillaboom. Good old Rillaboom. And we do have Dynamax. We're going to Intimidate. I think we save our Intimidate Pokemon. I think Rillaboom is just money right here, right? Robum's just money, dude. He is just money. He is just money here. Big old money. So, you know, we're going to hard swap into... Or not hard swap. We're just going to swap into the Robum. And I think he brings back out Regilecki. There's no reason he doesn't, right? There's no reason he doesn't. Yeah, he goes into Regilecki. And from here... I could fake out the Groudon. I could fake out the Regilecki. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I could get a defense boost. Um... Could knock off, could high horsepower. Fake out's really good. I could fake. I'm thinking of faking out the Regilecki and just taking it out. But I think Groudon does protect. Groudon could definitely protect. But I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to go into Grass Guide on the Groudon. And in this case, I'm just going to dump on this uh, Regilecki, right? So I just flare him. But I really don't want to change terrain, so I'm just going to flare him. We have the Drought. We have the Drought damage on top of that, so I'm with it all day. Let's see what he goes into. But yo, Rillaboom definitely coming in big. Definitely coming in big. Let's see if he protects anybody. He's going to protect the Groudon. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. So that's why I kind of want to just double down on Regilecki. But this works fine. This works fine. What's he going to do? E-Web me? I'm, I'm Grassy Gaiden and, and the stats will not change. He's going to Volt Switch Pivot again. I'm with it. So we're going to find out his final Pokemon. I'm cool with it. And then we can just Grassy Guide straight onto that Groudon slot. I'm so with it. And we do have Intimidate uh, Landers in the back end. So hopefully this is a physical attacker. Let's see. Gonna bring out Cal like, oh my god, we're going for a fire move. And we're going for a fire move in that slot. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. I I, I wanna thank you, dude. I wanna thank you for that one. I wanna thank you for that one. Get him on out of here. That's a huge KO for us because we did have Landers in the back end. And you know, ice moves are four times super effective on that. So he makes a bad swap. We make a good call going into a flare, even though we did not predict it. It was just a smart call for us for damage purposes. And he swaps into Calyrex. We get rid of that Pokemon, which is a huge threat. We have one more turn left in Dynamax. Uh, Regilecki is faster than my Solgaleo, but actually, is Groudon faster than, or is uh, Solgaleo faster than Groudon? Because a White Herb changed back its stats, but it's all good here. I'm still just going to drop a big old Grassy Glide into him. And then, do I just Flare again? Do I Steel Spike? Do I double down into him? I'm just going to uh, get some damage off on the Reggie here. Onto the lovely Regilecki, but I think this dude probably just cancels the battle, right? He knows he's in a tough position unless he goes and lands a double protect, but at that point, we're still we're still looking real good. We're still looking real good as long as we have this terrain up and about, which he cannot change at this point. 
He cannot change it. So Gene's just thriving in his first battle. Grass guy comes out here. How much damage is this gonna do? That's a good amount of damage. It's a it's a good chunk. That's exactly what we wanted. Thunderbolt's gonna fly through here. My boy Sogaleo eats and can Sogaleo go next. He does. Okay, beautiful. Sogaleo goes next. We're gonna chip up some big old damage onto you. And bring it down to the sash. That's why I wanted to double down into it earlier. So he has sash. We still have first turn priority with this, and he goes for a blade. So Blades is gonna take out my Sogaleo. We get to bring out Intimidate onto the Landorus. And pretty sure it's GG's, right? He has no moves to really just KO me. As long as I keep my first turn priority into that Groudon, we just keep tackling onto that, it's, it's over with. Because the only way he can win this is if he if he uh maybe dodges a move or something like that. And fire punches my roll boom, takes him out one shot. Really the only way. But we bring out this, we're gonna make his Groudon minus one, which he is a physical attacker. And Reg Lucky, it doesn't really it doesn't really affect me. So we're chilling with that. We are with it all. All day long. All day long. We have that attack drop. And yeah, we're just gonna glide and do I, do I drop an EQ? I don't even think we drop an EQ. I think we just go into this and do I just rock slide this? Yeah, might as well. I just think he cancels the battle here. Right? Cancel the battle. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my get him out of my game, dude. We're not dealing with it. We're not dealing with it. There it is. Battle was canceled. One and oh to get today's video started. Let's make it two in a row in battle number two. First battle went perfectly. We outplay our opponent to the fullest, and we just grab ourselves a win. We're going up against a D-Alga and Kyogre team, alongside with Incineroar and Rollboom, who is just a deadly combo. Both those Pokemon are so good on any single team. And then the last two Pokemon he has is Shadow Tag uh, Gothitelle and Porygon 2 for the Trick Room. Okay. Um, hmm. I feel like Dry Skin Heal Lewis is money in this, because he's definitely going to be bringing Groudon. So I really do like that. So we can uh, get Weather Ball. We can kind of just go from there. And rock it out. We definitely, I think I bring Rillaboom too. I think we bring both of these. We gotta bring both of these. I might lead Rillaboom here. Rillaboom could be a lovely lead alongside with, uh, Calyrex? We could go Calyrex. I'm trying, I'm trying to just to think, think it out here. I'm trying to think this one out here. Well, I could go here. I really do like. Maybe just Dynamax. Then we want Calyrex. I do want Solgaleo though. And I want Helios. That's my play. My play. I mean, he has a lot of special attackers. I feel, I feel like we don't even bring Lando. I feel like we go Calyrex as a lead with Solgaleo and uh, Heliowisk. I'm digging it. Let's rock it. Let's rip into this one. Let's do it. So we might even Dynamax Robum here. Robum's just too good. Robum's just too good. But we're going to lead the Robum. We have the fake out control. And then maybe he thinks if he takes out Robum, he's like, okay, now nah, I can get in my Kyogre. Then I'm ripping with Dry Skin uh, Heliowisk in the back end, which is dope, which is real dope. But I feel like I have to show off Dry Skin Heliowitz, considering we haven't showed off a Heliowitz on the channel in forever. And Kyogre's out on the field, so this could work well. So he goes Dialga and P2. Um, we have to fake out the Porygon 2 for sure. We for sure have to fake out the Porygon 2 and kind of just go from there. I could knock off the Evil Light and go for the kill. And read or protect. I feel like that would be an next turn play, right? I think we just have to fake out the P2 and just drop like an Astral Barrage or something along those lines. So I'm with that all day. And then maybe, yeah, and then maybe knock off the Evil Light next turn. That's definitely our play. We, ha we have to get some chip damage off on it. This Porygon 2 is still decently bulky without its Evo Light. Just Evo Light just, you know, gives it, it gives it a bit more, you know? It gives it a bit more bulk. But we might end up seeing a Dynamax come out from, uh, from what's it called? We might end up seeing a Dynamax come out from Dialga here. But I'm hoping it just protects and tries to get off Trick Room. And then we fake it out and we kind of just get more from here. So, we'll see. We withdraw. Okay, withdrawals. I'm with that all day. I'm with it. But I forgot this thing's normal type, so Astral Barrage will not affect it. But now we're just going to go straight into this, uh, this expanded force. And we're going to chip up some damage onto that uh, onto that P2. Onto that P2. Unless he's done. <gasps> he's Dynamax and P, dude. This dude. Yo, this dude. Dynamax and Porygon. Get this guy out of here. Get this dude out of here. Throwing me off. Throwing me off. Wow. Wow. I love it, though. I love it. I love it. The P2 Dynamax. Probably go for a max strike, right? Fake outs can come out here. Do pretty much nothing. I have to get rid of his item now. Expanded, expanded force can come out here. Pretty much do nothing. This thing's bulking. Phantasm can come out here. Trigger our focus ash. And our defense is dropping, dude. Our defense is dropping. That's tough news. Probably gonna fake out my roll boom. Uh, what do I do from here? It's a Gene's call here. Do I do I stay in with the roll boom or do I swap? Wow. The P2 Dynamax. You love Sid. You love Sid. P2 coming in big. P2 coming in big. I'm going to knock off. I have to get off this thing instead of Sash. And then from here, I could Bulldoze. And slow him down. But then that also slows down my Roll Boom, but... 
Mm -hmm. I think I have to go for a bulldoze here. I have to slow down everybody. I have to slow down everybody. Even though it slows down Roboom, slowing down two of them for just my Roboom, is, it, it, it's a great trade. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. I have to get this slowdown going. Speed control has to be in our favor here. Knockoff's still going to come out here. We're going to take off that Evo light, right? Get rid of that thing. Great call for us. And then the Hailstorm's going to pop the rear. And he's going to pick up the easy one. Go right. Wow. Ow. Yo, that, that's nuts. That is awesome, though. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. Okay, so we have Helio Whisk. And we have Solgaleo in the back end. So I'm going to bring out my Solgaleo. Definitely Dynamax Solgaleo. And... So tough. We, do we go Weather Ball? We can go Weather Ball. What do I choice into? Just Volt Switch? E-Web could be solid. I do like me some E-Web. I do adore me some E-Web. Wow, dude. The P2 threw me off, man. P2 with the Dynamax. I love it, dude. I love it, though. E2 Dynamax. You never say it. You say it like once every million years. Once every million years. Alright. We still we still got wiggle room in this battle, which we can definitely come back from, which I like. We have a weakest policy ready to proc. I'm guessing he has that uh what's called in the back end. Uh so I go for E-Web. Hey, might as well go for E-Web. Might as well go for E-Web. We'll Dynamax. Uh Phantasm Steel Spike. Steel Spike could be good. Do I change up terrain or do we leave the grass out here? We leave the grass. What other Pokemon does he have in the back end? Could have Roboom. But if Roboom pokes out here, then it's just like... No, I do not want to go for Sunsteel Strike. Steel Spike into you. Just so I get that defensive boost. In case that, uh, you know, that Incineroar is coming in with a Flare Blitz or something. Which I'm really hoping. Like, we need that policy proc. That could be great for us. So we're going to rock off with that. But I, I do think that the... Uh, that the Incineroar is just gonna tackle onto my Helios. I think I think they double down on my Helios and make this like a 4v1. But maybe, just maybe, my Solgaleo can pull off something amazing. You have some come out here. P2 dodges it. Get out of my face. We're lucky P2's uh, slower than. But so I wanted the damage. We're gonna get the speed drop onto that Incineroar, and we're just gonna drop a big old Max Steel Spike. Get that defense boost and get rolling out from there. So, build how much damage we're doing. See how bulky P2 still is. P2 still rips up without the Evo Light. So we get that huge old defense boost. P2's uh, special attacking, so we're hoping he's uh, hoping he's coming after my Sylvalio here. He does. Proc that, baby. Proc me. Proc me. That's what we do. Why is this thing doing so much damage? For no reason. For no reason. Hopefully he's not double down on me. Defense drop comes out here. We have... We have the policy proc. Dark Slayer comes through. Oh, no. Eat this. Eat this. We love it. Okay. Okay. Trying to think of ways to kind of like get out of this one. Do we have to guard this turn? We might have to guard this turn, which I don't mind doing. I think we are going to guard. I think we're going to guard. We have to guard. We, it's a must. Because I think he doubles down into me. I think he doubles down into me now that my policy's proc, so we have to guard. He's going to double down into me due to that. So I, I have to guard. I'm going to block it, and we're going to try to take out this P2 with two E. I feel like this is definitely doable. Let's guard it up. Let's guard it up. Let's guard it up. Because Helio Whisk is definitely going to be fastest on the field. And then when he throws out his next two Pokemon, we can slow him down and kind of control from there. And one of them has to be... Please, who did miss? No! Why? Why? Why did that just... Why am I going to lose the game because of that? Why Why am I going to lose the game because of that? Just ruined everything. Look at this. He's going to double down into my Solgaleo here. Shadow Ball. Dude, that, we just lost because of that. We just lost because of that. I, I gotta see if this would have taken him out. I gotta see if yeah, two E webs would have hundred percent taken him out. Um Is there any way I can uh can I do anything about this to figure this out? We missed two E webs on P2. We just needed one of them to land. Come on, man. I really want this comeback. We gotta go E web. Uh And we gotta hope Steel Spike just take KOs, right? Even though it's not very effective, it's stab. We're weak to this proc. Give me a crit or something. Make up for those misses. E Web comes out here. Please take out. It's not gonna take out P2, is it? One more might have. Yeah, dude, one more would have taken that out. 
And if that's gone, this uh this uh steel spike, we would need this KO, and then it would turn into a uh, 2v1 here. Look at this. Oh my lord, we would have been sitting so good. We would have been sitting so good. Because then he has Kai Ogre, and we have Heliobus to counteract that with E-Webs. And then Solgaleo would have just been able to roll out onto the next Pokemon. Dang, this one would have been real good. It would have been real close. Real close, but we miss our attacks. Okay. All right, let's see what he brings out here. Let's see if Heliobus can clutch this one up. How do we miss two E-Webs? That's rough, but I do love the opponent that we versed today. So this is a great opponent. Max and a P2. Really clutched up, yo. P2 was dirty. Yeah, dude, P2 should be dead. And my Solgaleo should still be alive. And we should probably get one more turn with Solgaleo. Because, again, we would E-Web and take speed control instantly. Instantly. Because Heliobus, there's nobody faster than him with the Choice Scarf. Even if he had Kyogre Choice Scarf. I feel like minus one Kyogre. Solgaleo might be able to outspeed it. Actually, that would have been close. But, yeah, Goth Gothitelle would have... Dude. We would have just... Oh, my God. We would have just won this one. Would it, would it, we would have won this one. We would have won this one. We would have won this one. Okay, we definitely need this. Uh, we definitely need this P2 to go down to this this E web without getting off a shot. Let's see if this can happen. Oh, let's rocket fake out. Never mind. That's GG's, right? He's gonna come in hot. He's coming in hot. Try attack. Blizzard. He's rocking Blizzard. Blizzardo. Lewis Geats. Hail the stop. So you're saying there's, there's no chance. I just want to see if this would actually take out P2. I want to see if this would take out P2, baby. Do, 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 do. Solid battle, yo. We didn't get swept, though. We didn't get swept. And, oh, my God, yo. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. E-Web comes out here. Built. P2 would have lived. P2 would have lived. Okay. P2 would have lived. That's rough news. That's rough news. And we didn't even get a chance to get out Healy Whisk up against Kyogre. He had to have Kyogre to back him, right? That's what I'm thinking. Actually, maybe not because we had Roboom. But GG's this guy. He's going to finish me off with... Oh. Okay, just rub it in my face. Just put my Helio with to sleep and rub it in my face. There's probably someone who watches my videos. Probably like, hey, yo, I'm bursting jeans. And I just whooped on him with a P2. Get out my face. Get out my face. But there it is, guys. One and one for today's video. We're hopping into our third. And I'm guaranteeing you guys a winning record in that battle. I told you guys we're getting ourselves a winning record. I mean it. I mean it. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Going up against an Ice Rider Cadillac Trick Room team with Reseram, Urshifu, Ndidi, and Instant War. And then Mimikyu to set the Trick Room. But uh, how should we go into this one? How should we play? I kind of want to bring Grimstar. Definitely want to get in Heliobus again because, you know, Heliobus is cool. But, hmm. How should Jeans play this one? How should Jeans play this one? I think Calyrex is a great little lead here. Alongside with... Galio could be nice. So Galio could be really nice. Or I could just go straight in the Wilbur. No, 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 no. We're going to go so Galio. We're going to double down with these guys, just like we did in the uh, first battle with the Trick Room, just in case he wants to poke into this. Uh, we definitely want to bring in Helio Whisk, and then last but not least, I think Landorus can come in here. Get a lot of work done. I do love me some Landorus with the Intimidate. Good old Intimidate Landorus. Let's rock it. Let's lock it down. Let's lock it in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three, three. But we're hoping he goes into the Trick Room combo right off the rip. I would love it. Trick Room combo would be Incineroar for the Fake Out, and then... Uh, Mimikyu for the Trick Room. And then at that point, we just Dynamax Solgaleo, and we just roll off from there. Then we just, you know, go into, like, an Expanded Force or an Astral Barrage and take off the Skies and then hit up on that thing. So he's gonna go bang, bang. There's Mimikyu, but no Incineroar. But no Incineroar! Um, I'm so cool with that. Because he's probably just gonna go for a Sucker Punch. We have First Turn Prior, or, uh, we have Focus Ash. I love it. I love it. I indubitably indeed love it. So Astro Barrage, definitely poking out here. We gotta chip up some damage, and we're just gonna Dynamax, and I'm just gonna... Ow! Actually, do I go for a Mindstorm and take him out? Just so first turn priority cannot be in effect. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. If this is a KO, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna be upset. But I think a max Mindstorm, it is stabbed, should be able to KO this. Because what I think he's gonna do is go into a Sucker Punch into Calyrex here, and then try to pop off a Trick Room, and then Calyrex Focus Ash is gonna uh, trigger it. We're gonna go for the uh, stuff and all that. Oh, but he just hard swaps. Who's gonna just hard swap into? That's the real question, though. Who's gonna take up this max Mindstorm? This Regiram. This lovely little Regiram. So maybe he thinks I'm going for a Steel Spike. I'm with that all day. I'm with it all day. So actually, I could, I could still Bulldoze, too. It's still bulldoze and proc policy. Then after this, he can't go for sucker punches. So if he can just sucker punch into my uh Calyrex here, I would love that turn. I would absolutely love that turn because then we have focus sash, 
We get off some big old damage. Uh, no more first time priorities, and then I can proc the weakness policy. Yeah, just go, go from there. All day long. All day long. Wicked blow comes through. Shh, I'm fine with it. I'm so, oh, he's choice. This thing's choice. 100% he's choice. He outspeeds me. So the sucker punch does nothing. Wow, we should have went to a bulldoze this turn. Sucker punch does nothing. He outspeeds me regardless. That's nutty. This thing's choice scarf. Okay, so he's choice scarf there. We're going to pop a little Astro Bosh here. And we're going to get off this Max Mind Storm. Okay. Wow, dude. This thing's choice. He's choice. So Helio Whisk is going to come up, come up clutch. Helio Whisk is definitely going to come up clutch. And now we're sitting in a weird spot where it's just like, do I get off a shot with a... Uh... Do I Mind Storm again? He's in a weird spot where he's like, do I get off a shot onto a... Uh... Onto Sogelio, or do I go after and finish off the Calyrex? Which I think he's going to finish off the Calyrex, right? I kind of like that. I wouldn't mind it one bit. Wow. Voice Scarf Urshifu. Definitely throwing me off. Definitely threw me off. Threw my plan off. He still has a Mimikyu in the back, and if I had to guess... Okay, I'm cool with that all day. He's going to go in the back in the Mimikyu, maybe? I'm, I'm totally fine by that. Who's he going to go after? Going to go into a Wicked Blood, and that... Ooh, now, now... We're, now we're definitely sitting in a weird spot here. Now we're definitely sitting in a weird spot. Unless he has Incineroar in the back end. He gets that guaranteed crit. I'm cool with that. Because now we have Res Ram down low. We have uh, Urshfu who's now dead. And he's got to go for the Trick Room, right? Trick Room's got to be trying to pop. He's got to be trying to pop. We take out Urshfu all day. And he's going to be trying to pop that, uh, that Trick Room. I feel like this is his last option. It's got to be his last option. It's got to be his last op option. Unless he's going to Shadow Sneak and try to proc Policy. But Helios can come out here all day. We're going to go for the E-Web, slow everybody down, and just go from there. See that? Now, that's a, now that's a tough problem right here. Is he going to proc policy, or, or is he going to pop trick him if he throws that cal Calyrex? And I'm a boy. Helios comes out here, or just go in the restroom, please. Cool. I'm with it all day. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. That's that's great for us. That's beautiful, beautiful for us. Helios comes out here. We got a choice to E-Web all day, right? E-Web can hopefully maybe take out that Reshiram. And then we just finish off this Mimikyu. We say bye-bye to Mimikyu. We get that defense boost. And we go from there. Oh, I need Helios to take out this Reshiram. If it doesn't and the Reshiram drops me with a blue flame, I'm a cry. E-Web comes out here. Who dodged it? What is up with my E-Web? And it does nothing. It does nothing. He's going to get off Trick. Oh, my Lord. If this thing gets off Trick Room. If this thing gets off Trick Room. Helio Whisk missing left and right with E-Webs. Please, no Trick Room. What you mean? What you mean? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please don't. Please don't. There's the blue for you. It's going to drop me. Instead. This game. Do do. Do do. Do do. Mimikyu should be dead, and this should be an instant win. I missed three E webs today. Three E webs. Can we still win this? That's the real question. Uh, Rock Slide. It still has Dynamax. We lost. We lost. And I guaranteed you guys a winning record. That's so rough. This should have been a win. You guys know it. You guys know it. Blue Fire's poking here. You sh can you eat this up? This game, yo. This game stinks. Dude, the game stinks. <laughs> Here's a nice big old sun shield strike. We're definitely losing this battle. Definitely losing this battle. Bro, we go. Oh, RG just awful, man. Same thing happened with the last battle. With the Porygon 2, man. Same thing happened. Same thing happened.
He throws that Calyrex. He's going to die in the max. Blah, 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 blah. I'm running the battle. It's over with. We go one and two for today's video. That's so rough. That is so rough considering this one should have been a win. And you guys know it. You guys know it. I love using Helio with Stay, but he could not land an E-Web for nothing. Miss three of them. Not one, not two, but three E-Webs when we needed them most. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That second battle, we lost fair and square. We lost that battle. We might have had a chance if the, you know, the E-Webs uh, landed. But that last battle, if that E-Web lands on that Mimikyu, we take off this guys. We take them out with a max seal spike instantly. We have speed control. We're totally fine. We're totally fine. He still has that Dynamax. We can intimidate him. We can hit him with EQs. We can hit him with steel spikes. It's just, it's just over with. It was just over with. We had that one in the bag. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.